Google is experimenting with adding a new button to the toolbar of its Chrome browser for Android. Right now we have the address bar at the top and this is accompanied by the tab grid button and the three dot menu icon. Tapping the tab grid button brings up Chrome's tab switcher and then tapping the three dot menu icon brings up Chrome's overflow menu that we're all familiar with. But in the recent update, the company has added a hidden feature that will add a third button to this toolbar in Chrome for Android. Now to enable this feature, we first need to bring up the hidden Chrome flags page. We can do that by opening up a new tab and typing in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags flags. So this is going to bring up a big massive list of all of the hidden features that are built into chrome. And from here we want to focus on the new chrome experiment feature labeled adaptive button in the top toolbar customization. So we're going to search for adaptive and when we do that that should filter out almost all of the options and we're going to focus on this top one labeled again adaptive button in top toolbar customization. So by default this feature is set to disabled but we can force this feature by changing that option to enabled and then tapping the blue relaunch button down at the bottom right. So you can already see this third button here at the top of the toolbar. Right now it is a plus icon for a new tab. And this new third button can either be dynamic and change depending on what you are looking at or it can be set to a specific command that Google has set up. And we have three different options to choose from there. So now once we have enabled this adaptive button feature, we can find it by going into the settings page of Chrome and scrolling down until you see the advanced section toward the bottom. There's going to be a new option here labeled toolbar shortcut. We can tap on that and we can get a disable and enable toggle for this new feature so we don't have to continuously go to the Chrome flags page to get rid of it if we don't want to see it. And like I said, by default it's going to be set to a dynamic option which is based on your usage. So Chrome will either determine whether that button can be a new tab button or it will be a share button, or it will be a voice search button. Now share and new tab functionality has been present in the overflow menu of Android for a while. And the voice command button, the voice search button is available whenever we tap on the actual address bar. But with this new feature, we can get one of these buttons right next to the address bar at all times. So if you always wanted a share button up there, again, we just go into the settings, go into the toolbar shortcut section and add that share option to for this feature. Alternatively, we could also go in here and set that to voice search at all times and the voice search button will be there at all times. And of course we have the new tab option as well. But by default it's going to be set to the based on your usage unless we change it. And that's going to give you an option between a new tab, a share, or a voice search 
depending on what you are currently doing in the browser. So that's the new latest experimental feature of Chrome for Android. Most people are seeing this in version 101 of the application, but this feature dates back all the way to Chrome 92 back in July of last year when some people thought it was going to be a simple A, B test from Google. However, that was removed and now it is currently baked into the Chrome experimental feature.